it's time to unearth some lost treasures from the Disney Vault. <laughs> it's Treasure Planet. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 underrated Disney movies. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're taking a look at both live-action and animated Disney movies that deserve far more recognition than they receive. Number 10. Meet the Robinsons as the first film John Lasseter produced as chief creative officer for Disney Animation, Meet the Robinsons marked a significant turning point for the studio. Centering on boy genius Lewis, the film recaptured much of the sincerity and imagination of Disney's golden years. At the same time, it also made leeway for a lot of modern humor and references, which would become more prevalent in later Disney movies. Why is your dog wearing glasses? Oh, because his insurance won't pay for contacts. With one foot in the past and the other in the future, it was clear that Disney was getting back on track, after a few critical and financial disappointments. While it may not have been a runaway hit, Meet the Robinsons reminded audiences that Disney will always keep moving forward. You gotta make the right choices and keep moving forward. Number 9. Hercules What are those? With its colorful action, clever in-jokes, and infectious soundtrack, Hercules could be viewed as a spiritual successor to Aladdin. This shouldn't come as a surprise, seeing how both films were directed by John Musker and Ron Clements. Since Aladdin came out five years earlier, however, Hercules has always lived in its predecessor's shadow. All right, not bad, kid. While not a game-changer per se, it still stands out as a unique take on Greek mythology, with no shortage of lovable characters. Much like Hercules himself, the film went underappreciated for the longest time. With a latent cult following, though, it's finally starting to go the distance. I am on my way. I can go the distance. Number 8. Sky High But I thought you were a sidekick! I am a sidekick. Sky High was ahead of the curve, satirizing the superhero genre long before the market was oversaturated with comic book adaptations. This comedy cleverly blends the world of costume vigilantes with a high school setting, as young Will Stronghold and his fellow sidekicks try to figure out where they belong. Along the way, the film provides inspired writing, scene-stealing performances, and even a meaningful coming-of-age message. Because we're hero support, and if your hero asks for a crossbow, you hand it to him. Despite getting swept under the rug upon initial release, Sky High has been gaining a following, thanks in part to the recent surge of superhero movies. So we wouldn't be surprised if a sequel took flight somewhere down the line. Fingers crossed. When life gives you lemons, make apple juice. Number 7. Saving Mr. Banks You can stay there until you learn the art of subtlety. While it didn't win any major awards, Saving Mr. Banks is a distinctive entry to the Disney library. That's largely because it's about how one of the studio's most beloved classics was created. Emma Thompson shines as Pamela P. L. Travers the woman who created the world's most magical nanny. Tom Hanks is equally wonderful as Walt Disney, who has his heart set on making a Mary Poppins movie. But it's an honor, Mr. Disney. Oh, Walt, man, you gotta call me Walt. Director John Lee Hancock presents a fascinating portrait of two visionaries clashing over artistic differences. The film develops both Travers and Disney into multi-layered individuals, exploring their strengths, flaws, and similarities. Because that's what we storytellers do. We restore order with imagination. Number 6. The Great Mouse Detective Raticum's up to something. The Great Mouse Detective hit theaters a couple of years before the Disney Renaissance began, which might explain why it often goes overlooked. Unlike the animated masterpieces that followed, the film doesn't really have any memorable songs or deep emotional messages. As far as good old-fashioned adventures go, though, The Great Mouse Detective excels on every level. The game's not over yet! It has inventive comedy, heart-racing thrills, and fast-paced animation. Not to mention a climax that'll leave you hanging from the edge of your seat. In addition to Sherlock Holmes, Basil earns comparison to some of the most memorable rodents ever to come out of the mouse house, making this mystery well worth unraveling. There's always a chance, Doctor. As long as one can think. Number 5. Enchanted Welcome to New York. Thank you. Disney's animated fairy tales have seen a resurgence of popularity lately, but which film brought the genre back? 
Some argue it was the princess and the frog. Others say it was Tangled. However, the film that might deserve the most credit is the one that everyone seems to forget, Enchanted. Hey, watch it, will you? Granted, the film is a live-action animated satire of fairy tales, which debatably puts it into a category of its own. Yet behind all the sight gags and self-referential humor, the film tells a sincerely heartfelt love story in the spirit of Snow White or Sleeping Beauty. It managed to be a traditional Disney movie while also serving contemporary audiences. How does she know? People look looking. She's yours. Don't see. It's okay. You know, let's just walk. Number four, Atlantis The Lost Empire. The heart of Atlantis. What? It's the heart of Atlantis. When Atlantis made its debut, critics were left underwhelmed and audiences showed a lack of interest. Over the years, though, the film has gained a fan base, and we can certainly see why. This was a risky departure for Disney at the time, as an action adventure rather than a tried and true musical. Even though the story might be a mixed bag, the filmmakers produced some stunning set pieces, inventive animation, and amusing characters. Well, as far as me goes, I just like to blow things up. Speaking of which, the best character of all just might be Atlantis itself, which had a detailed culture and mythos that practically springs to life. The result is like 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea meets a Hayao Miyazaki movie. Welcome to the city of Atlantis. Number three, Lilo and Stitch. How? Wow! Although it was a hit upon release, Lilo and Stitch isn't typically ranked when listing the best Disney movies. If you think about it, though, this film was a trendsetter for several future Disney classics. Long before Elsa and Anna melted our hearts, Lilo and Nani showed us just how powerful the bond between siblings can be. The film also explored Polynesian culture, years before Moana was released. It was especially refreshing to see an animated Disney movie that takes place in modern times but still told a timeless story about love, family, and friendship. So the next time you consider the most influential Disney flicks, don't forget the impact this movie had. Ohana means family. Family means nobody gets left behind. Number two, The Emperor's New Groove. Don't tell me, we're about to go over a huge waterfall. Yep. Likely based on the trailers, most people wrote off The Emperor's New Groove as a dumb kids movie. Of course, once they actually watched it, Many were surprised to find just how clever the film actually was. Not bad for a buddy comedy about a villager and a talking llama. Hey, Kronk, can you top me off, pal? Be a friend? <laughs> the story never takes itself too seriously, which is largely why the movie is so much fun. It may be a goofy premise, but that didn't stop the producers from going above the call of duty, delivering energetic slapstick, witty dialogue, and hilarious fourth wall breaks. The voice acting is also spot on. It just goes to show that you can't always judge a book by its cover. I know, it's called a cruel irony. Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I'm Princess Alonwi. Are you a lord or a warrior? Hallelujah, I've died and gone to Kentucky! <laughs> you look just like I did at your age. Please don't say that, Dad. Number one, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. <laughs> Though not as grim as Victor Hugo's original novel, this animated adaption still went to some pretty dark places, especially by Disney standards. Making commentary on faith, lust, and oppression, this is arguably the most adult movie in the Disney canon. Perhaps most jarring of all, there is no fairy tale ending. No! That may be why The Hunchback of Notre Dame isn't the most popular, but it's also why the film is the studio's unsung tour de force. With an epic scale, complex characters, and rousing musical numbers, this is a passionate work of art that finds Disney at its most ambitious. Taking chances that truly paid off. Whomever are you talking to? My friends. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.